And we'll do the graphics later. Check in with her this morning, find out what she's up to, Val. Thanks, Simi. Uh, down here at UBC at the Asian Center to find out about Balinese music and dance known as Gamelon. And uh, it's quite a setup here. And I want to invite Michael Tenzer, who is a professor here uh, at UBC, uh, to tell us a little bit about this. Oh, Michael, tell me, what are these uh, instruments that we're looking at here? They're, they're very foreign, obviously, to us here right. in Vancouver. These instruments were uh, made in the island of Bali, Indonesia, uh, around 20 years ago. And they're all made of bronze, keys, and gongs, and wood hand carved and painted with gold leaf and uh, red paint and they all have a special function in this music and they all work together they're all tuned together as one group and um, although uh, you can find a couple of these around Canada and North America not that many and this is the only one in Vancouver that's quite like it. Is it difficult to learn how to play gamelan or be a part of a gamelan group? Well it takes a lot of time and energy but it's a lot of fun it's a good challenge. And in fact I should mention that this is gamelan Gita Asmara Mm -hmm. which is a group, mostly, is it UBC students well, mostly? It started out as students, but then uh, over the years we've acquired so many people who want to stick with it and keep learning that this is a lot of alumni and also people from the community who want to join. We're an open organization. We welcome anybody who wants to And participate. you're recruiting. You've got workshops coming up. Yeah, the workshops are coming up uh, starting on Sunday right here at the UBC Asian Center. And, uh, so. so you think people can learn how to do this, and in fact, a little bit later, Dave and Simi, I'm going to get a listen, learning how to play the music and even in dancing. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for that, Valerie. That was All right. Going to be very beautiful. It's a beautiful Friday morning, 7.52. You're watching Breakfast Television. Let's get back out to Valerie this morning, and she's out at UBC. Val? Good morning, Simi. I am completely lost in the world of Gamelon, and uh, we're here with Wyan Sudirani. I'm going to call you Sudi. Sudi that's why I'm going to call you Sudi. <laughs> and apparently that's okay. Everyone here calls him Sudi, too. So uh, you are going to be teaching people how to play Balinese music. Mm -hmm. So you're going to try and teach me. <laughs> so what, are, what is this so, instrument here? Um, basically, I'm talking about the workshop. Um, I'm planning to teach really basic way. That's perfect learn. for me. Yeah. Okay, so what do I need so, to do? Do I get to use both of these? No, just one. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you how to hold the... Okay, we call this... Tango. Tango? Mallet. Okay. Yeah. So hold it like this. Okay. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Like that. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And so and hit the in, uh, the keys like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the cool, the interesting one in the gamelan is when you play, you have to jam. Oh, it's okay. A so you use my other hand too. Okay. Yeah. Like that, but not quite so fast, right? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's try something maybe a little more basic here. This one looks like it might be easier for me. All right. Okay. So we've got this one here. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm hold, am I holding it right? Yeah. Okay. Um, make sure that you, when you play it, hit in the middle. In the middle. In the middle. Okay. And, and I put my hand on here? Yeah. Okay. To jam the in I've been watching. I've been trying to learn. Mm -hmm. Good. See? I can really do this. <laughs> All right, look, I think yeah. we better get, uh, it's Gamelan Gita Asmara to play. Uh, they are doing a performance coming up. We've got, also got a workshop. I'll let you guys or play us out because we've, uh, we've got to get going on breakfast television here. So we've got lots more breakfast television coming up. All right, take it away, guys. Yeah. You might even see a little bit of sunshine. Time for a giveaway. BT wants to send you and a guest to the next production schedule for the Granville Island stage. It's called The Optimists. You cannot want anything from City TV in the past 90 days. Just be calling number 13, 604-280-2588. And now it's time to head out to Valerie in the live eye. <laughs> Every once in a while, yeah. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. We're down here at uh, the Asian Center at UBC, and I'm getting my lesson in Gamelon music, and I have to confess, I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm trying very hard though, and I've got my pango, and uh, I'm ready to hit my rio. Okay, so uh, now there's this is a lot harder than it looks, right? And um, Sudi, you were telling me that you can't just hit it; you have to yeah. also damp it. Damp it. Mm -hmm. Now, am I? I'm holding the sticks right? Yeah. Okay. So now you've given me the basics. What is next in teaching you this instrument? Uh, okay. It's basically the same thing when you do for the kajar, 
for the depth instrument. So basically, uh, make sure that you hit in the middle of the panel, okay. right? like that. And then, when you want to hit the other right. instrument, you sit down this one, time, this, one and this one and hit that one, right? Okay. Ah, I damp them both because mm -hmm. I can't pat my head and mm -hmm. rub my stomach at the same time. And the different sizes obviously mean different sounds. So let's mm -hmm. hear the sounds all the way down the line here. Start with the smallest ones. This is not my. I have to get to the really basic stuff, and I've been eyeing up this gong in the back. So I want you to show me, because uh, that looks like the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head back to the gong here. And there's four different gongs, right? Yeah. So two big gong, and then one medium size, and the other one. And the, is the, small. And the little baby one down here, and two different sizes of. Uh, what do you call these? Sir, bango. Bango. Okay. So which one gets the most use, and how do you get to this back one? Um, it just depends on how, like, it's depend on, we, usually we play the gong with two person. Like oh, one person okay. play both of this and then the other So one. I'm trying to do the role of two people yeah. here. Yeah. So is it just, Basically, the oh. bigger pango yeah. will hit the big The gong, bigger one? And the small one. Uh, At the same time? Uh, no. This one, the one. <laughs> yeah, can you try to hit? Yeah. It's, it's a little bit louder. Ooh, that's very loud. And then... Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, to, no. To, with the usually, we have a certain pango. Oh, to a different one. But okay. For, if you play it alone, you can just use the. Oh, just the end. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you want to play? Do you have time to play it better? Oh, I'm having too much fun to really have some <laughs> do something serious here. Dave and Simi, uh, lessons uh, from uh, in Gamelon are available. Free workshop this weekend right here at UBC if you want to check it out and see if maybe they're a little more talented than I am at hitting things. Okay. Can you believe thanks. how bad someone could be at hitting things? <laughs> Who knew? Well. Thanks very much for that, Valerie. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> Apparently. Um, all right. Here's a little something that you might be interested in. We have an amazing... ...about uh, the real estate market. So 